Hello everyone, I am thrilled to say welcome back to the lab. Today I'll be preparing benzamide in aromatic amide. Benzamide has been prepared from esters of benzoic acid in ammonia as well as the reaction of uh, benzoyl chloride with ammonia but today I'll react benzoic acid and urea with a boric acid catalyst to make benzamide. Benzamide doesn't have a large number of uses, but I intend to use it to make aniline through the Hoffman rearrangement. This opens up a pathway to aniline without having to go through nitrobenzene. I started off with 110 grams of benzoic acid. To this, I added 162.5 grams of urea. The final ingredient was 8.5 grams of boric acid. It was then shaken well to mix the reactants evenly. The flask was placed in a salt bath on top of a hot plate. I put a thermometer in the middle of the mixture and covered the top with tin foil. The thermometer allows me to take the temperature of the melt. Everything melted into a clear liquid around 130 degrees with evolution of gas. Eventually it reached about 180 degrees Celsius and I adjusted the hot plate to try and keep it at this temperature. It should be kept around this temperature for about two and a half hours. Notice the solids inside which will have to be knocked down periodically. The reaction was rather uneventful but eventually it finished and I took it off and let it cool. It gave the solid you see here. To isolate the benzamide, I added about 150 milliliters of 5% ammonia solution. I then heated it with stirring on my hot plate. This will dissolve any leftover urea and the ammonia will react to make the benzoic acid and boric acid that may be present more soluble. Upon reaching 95 degrees, almost everything had dissolved and I let it cool. Crystals precipitated as it cooled. The liquid was carefully poured off of these crystals. Next, I added about 250 milliliters of a dilute ammonia solution. Some insoluble urea decomposition products remained, so I poured off the liquid into another beaker. Upon cooling to room temperature over an hour and a half or so, you can see the very nice crystals which formed here. The liquid was poured off and fresh distilled water was added. The crystals were mixed well with the water to wash them. Everything was then vacuum filtered and washed with more water. The damp crystals were removed from the filter and left out to dry for a few hours. Eventually, I actually melted them to drive off any remaining water. My final product was 71.61 grams of some very nice benzamide. The melting point of 128 degrees Celsius confirmed its identity. The yield of 66% is somewhat low, but it should be more than enough for the preparation of aniline. 